Welcome to SAP 2000 version 18 training. I engineer at Al Saxena. E structures. Viv, Amy, approved valuer, Government of India. Introduction Part 1. SAP 2000 version 18 stands for Structural Analysis Program version 18. Overview. The SAP name has been synonymous with state of the art analytical methods since its introduction over 30 years ago. SAP 2000 follows in the same tradition featuring a very sophisticated, intuitive and versatile user interface powered by an unmatched analysis engine and design tools for engineers working on transportation, industrial, public works, sports, and other facilities. From its 3D object-based graphical modeling environment to the wide variety of analysis and design options completely integrated across one powerful user interface, SAP 2000 has proven to be the most integrated, productive and practical general-purpose structural program on the market today. This intuitive interface allows you to create structural models rapidly and intuitively without long learning curve delays. Now you can harness the power of SAP 2000 for all of your analysis and design tasks, including small day-to-day -day problems. Complex models can be generated and meshed with powerful built-in templates. Integrated design code features can automatically generate wind, wave, bridge, and seismic loads with comprehensive automatic steel and concrete design code checks for U.S., Canadian and international design standards. Advanced analytical techniques allow for step-by-step -step large deformation analysis, Eigen and Ritz analyzes based on stiffness of non-linear cases, catenary cable analysis, material non-linear analysis with fiber hinges, multi-layered non-linear shell element, buckling analysis, progressive collapse analysis, energy methods for drift control, velocity-dependent dampers, base isolators, support plasticity and non-linear segmental construction analysis. Non-linear analyzes can be static and or time history, with options for FNA non-linear time history dynamic analysis and direct integration. From a simple small 2D static frame analysis to a large complex 3D non-linear dynamic analysis, SAP 2000 is the easiest, most productive solution for your structural analysis and design needs. One window, many views. SAP 2000 offers a single user interface to perform, modeling, analysis, design, and reporting. Enhanced user interface. Dockable windows. Users now have extreme flexibility in the way model windows and views can be laid out using dockable windows. Modeling. Templates. SAP 2000 has a wide selection of templates for quickly starting a new model. SAP 2000 includes parametric templates for the following types of structures, simple beams, 3D trusses, 3D frames, storage vessels, staircases, dam structures, and pipes. Model views. View and manipulate analytical and physical models with great precision. Easily define custom views and develop ovations to view and manipulate complex geometry with ease. Object model view. Element model view. Element model views display the finite element model of the structure which is made up of the connectivity of the joints, frames, shells, and defined meshing. Grid systems. In SAP 2000, grids can be defined as Cartesian or cylindrical. There is no limit to the number of grid systems in a model and they can be rotated in any direction or placed at any origin within the model. Plans and elevations. Plan and elevation views are automatically generated at every grid line to allow for quick navigation of the model. Users can create their own elevation sections by using our develop elevation feature. Interactive database editing. Interactive database editing allows users to edit model data in the table view which simplifies the task of making changes to the model. Tables are easily exportable and importable from Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Access. Meshing Tools Engineers have many options when it comes to mesh generation in SAP 2000. Simply select the area object and then select the rules for the automatic mesh generator to use. Meshing Overview 
Edge constraints. The automatic edge constraint is an internal algorithm that will address the issue of mismatched meshes. For example, if the nodes of a ramp and a wall do not match up, SAP 2000 will internally connect all mismatched meshes using the algorithm to act as a zipper between the elements. Structural components. Joint. SAP 2000 automatically create joints at structural object intersections or internal joints when meshing structural objects. Joint coordinates and information may be displayed on screen in the model window or in tabular format. Frames. The frame element uses a general, three-dimensional, beam column formulation which includes the effects of biaxial bending, torsion, axial deformation, and biaxial shear deformations. SAP 2000 has a built-in library of standard concrete, steel and composite section properties of both U.S. and international standard sections. Frames Overview Section properties even non-prismatic and built-up steel sections can be easily defined. Use Section Designer for more complex sections. Cables The cable element is a highly non-linear element used to model the catenary behavior of slender cables under their own self-weight. Tension stiffening and large deflection non-linearity are inherently included in the formulation. Tendons Tendons are easily drawn as independent objects, with geometry specified as straight lines, parabolas, circular curves, or other arbitrary shapes. Tendon loads, including all losses, are easily defined in SAP 2000. Shells The shell element is a type of area object that is used to model membrane, plate, and shell behavior in planar and three-dimensional structures. The shell material may be homogeneous or layered throughout. Material nonlinearity can also be considered when using a layered shell. Solids The solid element is an 8-node element for modeling three-dimensional structures and solids. It is based upon an isoparametric formulation that includes nine optional incompatible bending modes and is useful for modeling objects in which loading, boundary conditions, section properties, or reactions vary by thickness. Links. A link element may exhibit up to three different types of behavior, linear, nonlinear, and frequency dependent, according to the types of properties assigned to that element and the type of analysis being performed. The following link elements are available in SAP 2000, linear, multilinear elastic, multilinear plastic, gaps, hooks, dampers, friction isolators, rubber isolators, TC isolators, frequency-dependent springs, and frequency-dependent dampers. Hinges Users can create and apply hinge properties to perform pushover analyzes in SAP 2000. Nonlinear material behavior and frame elements, beam slash column slash brace, can be modeled using fiber hinges. This approach represents the material in the cross-section as discrete points, each following the exact stress-strain curves of the material. Mixed materials, such as reinforced concrete and complex shapes can be represented. Springs Spring supports are link elements that are used to elastically connect joints to the ground and can be linear or nonlinear in nature. Nonlinear support conditions can be modeled to include gaps, compression only, multilinear elastic or plastic springs, viscous dampers, and base isolators. Loading Automatic code-based loading SAP 2000 will automatically generate and apply seismic and wind loads based on various domestic and international codes. SAP 2000 also has a sophisticated moving load generator that allows users to apply moving loads to lanes on frame and shell elements. Seismic Wind Moving Load The moving load generator will move a vehicle within the lane to determine maximum envelope conditions. Wave Loads the wave loading feature automatically generates loading on the structure resulting from waves, current flow, buoyancy, and wind. Multi-step static linear loading can be generated to simulate the wave moving through the structure. In addition, dynamic, time history, loading can also be generated to include inertial effects as the wave moves through the structure. User Loads Define specific loads to model a wide array of loading conditions with SAP 2000 built-in user loading options. Force moment. Displacement. Temperature. Strain. 
pore pressure. The pore pressure load is used to model the drag and buoyancy effects of a fluid within a solid medium, such as the effect of water upon the solid skeleton of a soil. Thanks for watching. Follow me on YouTube.